Hey guys, it's Abby here again with NLC Live. I'm going to be jumping into the verse of the day, Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. There are birds, there are weed eaters. It is summer in central Arkansas, and I am glistening to say the least. Ooh, okay. Stay awake and pray so that you won't enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Whenever I'm trying to dive into a verse, I need to know what's going on in the rest of the story. So Jesus is having the Last Supper with his disciples. Um, he knows that Judas is going to betray him. He tells him, go ahead and go and do what you're going to do. And you know, Peter also is saying, I would never deny you. I would never do this. And Jesus is like, actually, like you're gonna actually do it three times before the rooster crows. Things are getting tense right now, to say the least. So all that Jesus wants to do is he wants to go and pray. He wants to go to the garden. Um, he knows what's coming, but this is a moment where he's actually going to ask the Father that if there's a way to let this cut pass from him, like, please, like, let that happen. But, you know, your will, not my will. But he, you know, he needs his brothers to be praying. And so he's like, can you stay awake and do this? And they keep falling asleep. <laughs> and so there's obviously a very, like, physical, um, literal thing going on here. Like he's saying, you know, stay alert, be watchful and pray. Don't fall into, te into temptation. He knows that they while their spirit might be willing and while you know for example peter like while he's saying no 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 like i would never do this he knows that when push comes to shove it's going to be tough and the flesh is weak and so thank god literally thank god that we have the holy spirit now it says in the book of john it says this is jesus talking he says all this i have spoken while still with you but the advocate the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name will teach you all things and will remind you of everything i have said to you peace i leave with you my peace i give you i do not give to you as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid the command to obey be alert be aware that the enemy is like a roaring lion ready to devour anyone in his path i think the thing to take away from this passage is that no matter how good our intentions are our flesh is weak and if we depend on our own strength to get through whatever whether it be a storm in our lives whether it be our jobs whether it just be day to day if we think that we can do this on our own we're going to get tired we're going to get weary and we're going to start depending on ourselves and in that we can get a little bit self-righteous and we can think i can do this and we think that until something bad happens and then we realize that we never were in control to begin with and so we have to be aware that yeah like our spirit is willing we have the best of intentions but our flesh is weak and that is why we need jesus so that's all i have for you guys today i'm just gonna pray and we will wrap this up dear god thank you for this day i thank you for all the people that might be listening today and i just pray that you would just remind us of your spirit god remind us that you have enabled us you have empowered us and all we have to do is call upon your name. All we have to do is come to you. And scripture says that you are a good father. You will not keep good things from your children. So God, we, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you sent your spirit to us. And God, thank you that you sent your son to die on the cross so that we would have this relationship with you. God, we thank you for all these things and we just pray for a good rest of the day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you guys. Now uh, go get inside to some AC because I know I am.